suspect. Chip Osowski joining us now from Brooksville with what happened and what comes next. The sheriff says it's amazing no one other than the suspect was seriously injured. There were a number of innocent citizens, civilians, around when the shots rang out, including the folks right there in that store. Pop, 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 real quick. At first, Dennis Cordello and his customers didn't know what to think. I heard about a dozen, maybe 15 gunshots. I came back inside, one guy hit the ground, one guy ran towards the gunshots. This was the scene on Broad Street, Brooksville, right around lunchtime. Investigators tell us the man who was driving this white truck robbed the Capitol Bank and fled with a hostage in the car. When they finally got him stopped, deputies opened fire. Sheriff Al Nienheis wouldn't go into specifics as to why, but when asked if reports the man had a knife were true, I don't believe it came from the sheriff's office, but uh, I'm not going to deny that. Authorities have yet to identify the suspect, nor the hostage. The deputies involved are currently on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of this investigation. In Brooksville, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8.